Hey guys, I'm Tony from Tony Teaches Tech, and today I'm going to show you how to install an SSL certificate on Volter. So let's get right into it. Right here I have my travel blog website. It is not secure as you can see here. That means the HTTPS version of the website is not set up. So in order to set that up, we need an SSL certificate. The place that I get all of my SSL certificates from is Namecheap, namecheap.com. So in here, under the security tab, you can see an SSL certificate section. And the reason I get them from Namecheap is because they are cheap, as the name implies. Uh, so a positive SSL certificate is just $7.88 per year. Go ahead and click buy now. And by the way, while we're looking at that, um, I do have a link down below. If you purchase through my link, I will earn a small commission. So thank you in advance. So I'm just going to do this for one year. Um, and there's a coupon code, so check for that below as well in the description. And that's just $6.88 for one year. So go ahead and click on confirm order and pay now. All right, our purchase has been made. Now we can go back to our Namecheap dashboard. Okay, and on this page on the left hand side, click on product list. And here we should see, we do see our SSL certificate, which needs activation. So go ahead and click on activate. And the first thing we need to do is enter a CSR or a certificate signing request. So in order to do that, just open up a terminal window and type in the following. I'm just going to paste it in here. I'll have it linked down below if you just want to copy and paste it. Uh, there we go. So if you don't know what that means, don't worry. I don't really fully understand it either, but I do understand the overall process of what we're trying to do. Um, so go ahead and fill out the information. So our country name, two letter code is US, state or province. I'm going to say Pennsylvania for me. The city is Reading. This is going to be different for you. Organization name, Tony Travels. This is my travel blog. Organizational unit, I, I, some of these can be optional, so I'm gonna see if that's, yep, we can leave that blank. Common name, fully qualified host name, uh, tonytravels.com. Email address, I'm gonna put admin at tonytravels.com. And please enter the following extracts. This again, this is uh, optional. I'm gonna just leave it blank, and that's that. So if you look at your uh, directory now, you'll have a server.key and a server.csr. There is the CSR that we're looking for. So go ahead and view that file, the CSR file, and all we need to do is copy this and paste it into here. And if we did everything correctly, it should automatically detect our domain name, tonytravels.com. Go ahead and click on next. This is asking us where the certificate is gonna end up. For us, it's gonna be on an Nginx server because we're working with uh, WordPress on Volter and that is installed using Nginx. Same thing happens if you're doing something with Apache. So we're gonna do a domain validation via email and we're going to send it to admin at tonytravels.com which it again automatically detected from our certificate signing request and for that the admin email is admin at tonytravels.com one more time and finally go ahead everything looks good click on submit so we'll let that do its thing and there we go. So it says we initiate the activation of your certificate. To complete the process, you need to finalize the domain control validation procedure. So we picked the uh, email option. So let's go check our email to see if we have anything in there. So let's log into admin at tonytravels.com and see if we have that. Not yet. So when we have that, I'll check back in with you guys. All right. So just like 30 to 45 seconds later, we have that email, and we're gonna go ahead and open that and see what we got in here. So, yes, so domain control validation for tonytravels.com. Uh, let's see, so it's saying that to permit issuance of the certificate, please browse here and enter the following validation code. So just copy this, click on this link, and in the resulting page, go ahead and paste it in there. 
and it says thank you you've entered the correct code your certificate will now be issued an email to shortly so we're done with that that was extremely easy uh, let's refresh see if we got the next email and we do not so I'll check back in with you when that happens okay so that took like two minutes or so we got two emails in that time and this first one here with the trust logo you can just ignore that uh, but the one we're interested in is the second one we can open that up and you'll see here that we have an attachment a zip file so that contains our SSL certificate so we want to download that and click it to open it or unzip it and open it and in here you'll see two files. One is a CA bundle file and, another, and the other one is a .crt file. So um, the one thing we want to do is combine these two files, the CRT and the, the CA bundle file. And we can do that really easily with a command on our command line. So if we go to that folder, which is in our downloads mm -hmm. folder, well for me it's in my downloads folder, and then tonytravels.com. Uh, there's our two files, so all we have to do is cat the tonytravels underscore com dot crt and the other file, which is tonytravels.com ca bundle, and redirect that information into a file called searchchain.crt. And honestly, these the name, the output name searchchain.crt doesn't really matter, um, but that's just like one of the conventions that is used. So hit that and all, all this really does is takes the first file up here and puts it at the top of the file and takes the other file and puts it next to it or down below so you just putting them into into a chain essentially the next thing we want to do is to log into our volter server i'm assuming at this point that you have that spun up that's why you're watching this tutorial uh, in order to do that you on your command line you can go to ssh root at your domain name. So for me, it's tonytravels.com. And um, if you don't know your password, you just go into your Volter dashboard, copy it, and you can paste it to do that. So that should work. Yep, we're all logged into our remote server now. For me, located in Chicago. The first thing I'm gonna do is go to the ETC uh, Nginx directory. And in here, you should see your pre-existing SSL certificates. And those are self-signed, so they're, they're not any good. Um, what we want to do is to delete them. Server, just delete everything, server.star. And we want to now take our CRT that we have on our local computer and our key on our local computer and put it up here. So how do we do that? Well. Um, let's open up a new terminal tab and go back into our downloads folder and into the Tony Travels Travels, oh, lots of folder called Tony um, and you'll see there are files here so we can use the SCP command if you're not familiar with that that's secure copy command so I'll show you how to do it um, so type SCP it's kind of like SSH SCP Let's start with the server.key, and that's the source file. The destination is root at tonytravels.com colon, and now this is going to be an absolute path to where we want this thing to end up. So if you remember, it's etc slash nginx slash ssl, I believe so. And we're going to keep the name server.key. Okay, let's see if that works. If it does, all we have to do is type in the password, or paste it in this case, and bam, let's go over to our other tab. And nothing was there before. Now we see our server.key there. So that's one file down. Let's get that CRT over there as well. So we're gonna do the similar thing, SCP, and we want the cert chain.crt. We have a, a couple CRTs, but we want the cert chain. And again, it's gonna be root at tonytravels.com slash or colon or what is that called yeah it's colon uh etc nginx ssl and then keep the same name cert underscore chain dot crt crt hit enter 
asking for a password, paste it in, and bam. Let's make sure that's there. It is, we're doing good. Uh, let's back out a level on our server to go into just etc nginx. Here we have a bunch of files and folders. We're actually interested in navigating into the conf.d directory. Whoops, the conf.d directory. And in here you'll see our configuration files for our various websites. So there's an HTTP version of your website, an HTTPS version of your website, and you can have multiple websites running on here. Maybe we'll do that in another tutorial. But for now, we just want one website. And actually, um, because Google's so strict about it, and I highly recommend it, you should always have uh, just one version of your website, an HTTPS version. So what we want to do first is redirect all of our HTTP traffic to our HTTPS version of our website. So really easy to do. Let's go into WordPress underscore HTTP.conf. And at the top of this file, uh, we're pretty much going to get rid of everything from here on. So if you're using Vim, uh, I'm okay with Vim. But in order to delete a whole bunch of lines, you could just type a really big number, like 999 and then dd for delete. And we wanna make sure we close that tag. So I to go into insert mode and then hit that close curly brackets. Um, let's just fix up a couple things here. We want to, oh boy, I'm doing a screen recording and I don't know how to get out of, oh, here we go, okay. Never mind. forgot I said anything. Uh, let's give her the server name underscore thing. We wanna explicitly define our server here so uh, let's get rid of all this. And what we want to put here is tonytravels.com and www.tonytravels.com. So for you, it's just going to be your www and your non www version. Uh, I think this is okay. We can actually just get rid of default server and just do a list in 80. And that's all we really need for this. Oh, I'm sorry. There's. That, that's not all we need. We need to add one more piece of information. Um, that is a redirect. So a good way to do this is a permanent 301 redirect. And it's gonna look like this. So type in return uh, 301. And it's gonna be the fully qualified domain name, so https colon slash slash tonytravels.com, then you're going to do uh, dollar sign request underscore uri, and then semicolon. I have my cheat sheet over here, um, so that's why I keep looking over that way. So this, this will do the redirect from anybody who goes to the HDT, yeah. I'm sick of saying it. Anybody that goes to HTTP will be redirected to HTTPS. Bam, save that with writing and quitting. Okay, one more thing to do here. Uh, let's go to the WordPress HTTPS com file. And let's change a couple things here. So this is how the default uh, configuration file looks. Get rid of this default server and a good practice is to um, type in HTTP2 here which is something that Google um, wants you to have. We're also gonna get rid of this with the underscore. Um, okay, so basically next to server name, we're gonna do what we just did in the other file. It's gonna be tonytravels.com and www.tonytravels.com. And now you'll see here the SSL certificate. So uh, we have our server.key, but we renamed the other one from um, server.cert to cert chain.crt. And that should be it. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's it. So let's go ahead and save that file. And I guess. Let's restart Nginx. Uh, so to do that, let's see if I have that saved. Yeah, so sudo system ctl restart Nginx. Hit enter. Now let's go back to our website. 
this is the moment of truth. See if we did everything correctly. So before we navigated to TonyTravels.com, it was a non-secure version. We took care of redirecting everything. So if we hit refresh, this should just take us to um, HTTPS version. Okay, and there you have it. We got the lock icon on all of our pages. If you click on it, it says connection is secure. So we pretty much accomplished everything that we set out to do today. We purchased an SSL certificate and we installed it on Volter under the Nginx web server. And um, yeah, it's redirecting from HTTP to HTTPS. So everything is looking good. If you guys have any questions about the content in this video today, let me know in the comments below. Also, if you have a specific video that you want to see within the context of, you know, WordPress hosting, anything in between, uh, let me know in the comments below. Consider subscribing if you got value out of this video, and if you do, I'll see you in the next one.